But I was asked basically to, to talk about um, digital currencies in the time of crisis, and for us it was mostly Bitcoin. But I think it's crucial to take a step back and to talk about how did we actually come here? Uh, how did we resort to Bitcoin in the first place? So essentially, as a last resort, so as a means, uh, a means of defending against uh, financial exclusion or for protecting rights. So for us, as Open Dialogue Foundation, the story goes back to 2019. Uh, in 2019, all of the banking accounts of the foundation and its executives were blocked. Uh, no explanation provided, no way to seek recourse. Um, and it took us months to actually decide on the black box of bank compliance. And as it turned out, all it took to be banished from the banking system of a Western democracy, because again, we're, we're talking Brussels here, was negative media coverage that was orchestrated by some authoritarian and hybrid regimes that we have criticized. So we were red flagged by an automated banking system um, that had to adapt anti-money, laundry, or counter-financing of terrorist regulations. Um, so when the latest Russia's full-scale invasion of Ukraine happened, at this moment, we actually knew already Bitcoin's value. 